good to see you and good to be with you for this time of worship today. We have a few announcements as we begin our service. I'm going to start by calling on Mike Francisco. I'll just stay up here. Uh, country breakfast, uh, February the 10th. Need help on Friday, February the 9th at 8 o'clock and 7 o'clock on the 10th. I have flyers and tickets after the service. Today we are having our hymn sing service, part two. Last year we asked members of the congregation to share their favorite hymns with us, and we had a lot of responses. So we compiled the first half in our hymn sing service we did last year, and this is the second half today. You'll notice in your bulletin, uh, with the hymns that have an asterisk next to it, stand as you are able to sing those but remain seated for all the others. Also note that Emma is going to be out of the office on Wednesday and Thursday of this week. Thanks to our volunteers, we'll be covering the phone and the door on that day. Are there any another, other announcements you'd like to bring up? Yes, yes. This is the last week for the soup for seniors. Uh, Gary and I will be collecting it and taking it the following Monday. And also, uh, as another aside, AARP offers free tax services for anybody. It doesn't have to be old or young, anybody. Uh, as long as they don't have rental property and whatever, it's free. You start February 1st. I'm working that day at the Lions Club downtown, but they also have an office in Benton and one in Salem for one day a week there. So it's a free service. And they do it very well. They are advanced trainers and all. It will save you a lot of money unless you have a whole lot of expenditures and all. So just let you know that. Any other announcements? If not, our opening prayer is found in your bulletin. I'll read the light print and invite you to read the bold. O oh Lord, open our lips. And we shall declare your praise. Amen. Our first hymn is from the famous saying, number 2149. We'll sing verse 1 and 4 of Living for Jesus. Please stand straight.
please pray with me the prayer for elimination that is printed in our bulletin. Eternal God, in the reading of your scripture, may your word be heard. In the meditations of our hearts, may your word be known. And in the faithfulness of our lives, may your word be shown. Amen. Our first lesson this morning is from the Old Testament, Deuteronomy chapter 18, verses 15 through 20, and it can be found on page 302 in the Bible. The Lord your God will rise up for you a prophet like me from among your own brothers. You must listen to him, for this is what you ask of the Lord your God at court on the day of the assembly when you said, Let us not hear the voice of the Lord our God, nor see this great fire any more, or we will die. The Lord said to me, What they say is good. I will raise up for them a prophet like you from among their brothers. I will put my words in his mouth, and he will tell them everything I command him. If anyone does not listen to my words, that the prophet speaks in my name, I myself will call him to account. But a prophet who presumes to speak in my name anything I have not commanded him to say, or a prophet who speaks in the name of other gods, must be put to death. The next hymn is in the hymnal, number 377, sing the first and last First and second. Who is called? 
cause his wonderful works to be remembered. The Lord is gracious and merciful. The Lord lies to the faithful and is ever mindful of his suffering. by giving them heritage of the nations. The works of the Lord's hands are faithful and just. The precepts of the Lord are trustworthy. They are established forever and ever to be performed with faithfulness and kindness. The Lord sent redemption to his people and has commanded his covenant forever. Holy and wondrous is God's name. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. All those who practice it the of the Next hymn is number 548, In Christ There Is No East or West. We'll sing verses 1 and 2.
please stand for it.
hymnal. We'll sing verses 1 and 4. Joyful, joyful, we get moved.
I want to share this with the congregation. I'm a West Virginian, I'm a mountaineer, and my father was a coal miner. And about 15 years ago, most of you need to recall the Beckley Mine Cave-In, 30 men died. Okay. It was very traumatic for the whole state of West Virginia and for anyone whose father had been a coal miner. Those 30 men were brought from that mine and the hearses were lined up at that mouth of that mine. They did not bring those men out until all 30 had been accounted for. And as those 30 automobiles drove out of that mountain cave, the people of Beckley lined the streets and they sang this song. I'm going to fly away. Mary, I want you to sing that last verse again. And I want us to just celebrate the fact that 30 families lost their fathers, their brothers, their husbands, and yet they were able to stand on the side of the street and sing, I'll fly away. Let's sing it with that kind of vision this morning. Yes. 
today. We had a few members that gathered in our gym to play pickleball. It's the first time they've done this in a while. Uh, they had a good turnout and lots of fun. If you're interested in joining them as a player or a spectator, then speak to the board. Uh, what joys would you like to share? I'd like to thank the congregation, thank God for giving me a place to live. Amen. Yes. So I have to do that. Yes. That's why? Because I'm a West Virginia. My dad was a coal miner. And I remember all that. So. Yeah. Same here, Father. Amen. Yes. Um, Keith, the balloon is down. <laughs> <laughs> He and Donna who probably look like a Laurel and Hardy movie. I got in here with the big pole we used to hang these banners and a ladder, and after many attempts, finally duct taped the knife to the end of the pole and harpooned it. Got it. I'm afraid not. She is not here. One of the most exciting things that's happened to us all year. We wanted to remain anonymous. Okay. Other joys before we move to concerns. And as we move to concerns, uh, Don gave to me prayers for Shirley Fisher and family. Her sister Joyce is in the hospital in Johnson City in critical condition. Shirley and her sister Linda are traveling there this morning. Also, Deborah Tankersley is under the weather. Prayers for her. Lorraine Palavecchio has some health concerns this week. Prayers for her. The funeral service for Marion Woluski will be at 11 a.m. at Simpson tomorrow with visitation an hour before. And Robin Frazier's daughter has some mental health issues and has been admitted to a facility where she can receive treatment. Uh, what other concerns would you like to lift up? You have an unspoken lift. Yes. Our prayer today is based on our Psalm 111. Let us pray. Maker of the heavens and the earth, Hear the prayers of your people. This world provides us with the essential elements of survival and mysteries to delight our minds. With humble attitudes, we explore the intricacies of the universe and ponder the unknown. By your covenant, you connected the men and women of Scripture with your holiness. Through Christ, we are among your covenant people. When we fail to act obediently, be gentle with us and teach us how to learn from our mistakes. Strengthen the bond among members of this church as we hold one another accountable to live righteous lives. Thank you for bringing us together in this fellowship. Today we pray for those we love who are struggling with sickness and injury. Enable us to deal with the afflictions of this world while faithfully serving you. Hardship troubles us for a time, but praise for you endures forever. We offer this prayer in Jesus' name as we pray as he taught the disciples, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily prayer, and forgive us our trespasses, we have three more selections to sing together. Notice that we are all singing the recessional today. And when we get to that, we'll sing verses 1 and 4. Uh, but now we have verse uh, M261. Lord of the dance, please stand as you're able. 